Okay, the series called The Cling of the Clot continues here. All right. And of course, when I do the Muslims' words, I'll be using this side of my face, plus the mock Arabic accent when I use uh, mine this side. Okay. Even, Quran, even the Quran didn't mention the word Christians, but mentioned the place where Jesus was born. Nasar equal Nazareth. Oh? Can you explain? Can you then explain Quran 328 and 551 for me, please? Also, what does, quote, Christians and Sabians mean to you? By the way, what Quran are you reading from? What does Surah 111 mean to you when it says, and they say, quote, none shall enter paradise unless he be a Jew or Christian? Those are their vain desires, say, produce your proof if you, be, if you are truthful. Or how this? How about Surah 514? Quote, from those two who call themselves Christians, we made a covenant, but they forgot and abandoned a good uh, part of the message that was sent uh, sent them. So we strange them, stirred up enmity and hatred uh, among them to the day of doom. As soon Allah will show them the handiwork that they have done. Does Christ does Christian look like Nazareth to you? What Quran are you reading from? Or how's this? This is okay. And the Jews and the Christians say we are sons of Allah and He is beloved. Say, uh, why then does does He punish you for your sins? Nay, you are but men. He forgives whom He wishes and punishes whom He pleases. Do you know what you're talking about? Or are you saying anything off the top of your skull cap? If the Jews and Christians, Christians, uh, were okay, then Allah would have sent them to the Arabs to guide them. How do you know? But everybody was Mushrik, Jews and Christians. Christians? Can you make up your mind, O slave of, yeah. <laughs> Can you make up your mind? Oh, quote, even the Quran didn't mention the word Christians. Yeah. Uh, deviated from the truthful Abrahamic path. Well, how do you know? Oh, that's right, because most said so in the Quran. Yeah, well, the Quran also says the sun rests and embryos are clots of congealed blood. Allah didn't say follow these Jews and Christians. Didn't say follow their scriptures as they are in error. Okay, well then what's uh, Quran 1094 all about? How come that scripture is completely ignored by you and other Muslims? How about Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, 40, 70 through 72? How come you ignore the, how come you and all Muslims, how come all those scriptures are ignored by you and Muslims and other Muslims? Want to uh, guess as to why? Quran 2, 135 quotes. Because Christians and you will have the true guidance. Uh, I thought you said the word Christians wasn't mentioned in the Quran. What, uh, what are you... Say to them, nay, we turn away from every other way. And we accept the way of Abraham. <coughs> and Abraham did not associate other gods with God. Um, another contradiction in the quote, clear signs. For Abraham said in Quran 6... 76 quote when the night covered him over he said to uh, said uh, he saw a star he said this is my lord but when it set he said i love not those that set uh when he saw the moon rising in splendor he said this is my lord but when the moon set he said unless my lord guides me i shall surely be among those who go straight uh when he saw the sun rising in splendor he said this is my lord this is the greatest of all but when the sun set he said ah um, oh my people i am indeed free from your guilt of giving partners to God. He even admitted it, contradicting Quran uh, 2, 135. And thus Abraham did associate others with Allah. And since shirk is unpardonable, Abraham is bound for eternity in hell, even though he supposedly went to uh, went back to worshiping Allah. Yeah, you because, know, you know, Quran says that shirk is unpardonable. Yeah, We don't distinguish between the prophets and their books. Yeah. We don't distinguish the, between the prophets and the holy books. If you believe the books, uh, the, the, the book that the Quran says it confirms, uh, to be corrupted, uh, you are distinguishing whether you want to believe it or not. All the prophets came with the way of Abraham and never deviated from it. If so, then how 
come, only Islam has Muslims with their patooties up in the, high in the air on prayer rugs. How come Islam is the only religion with so many terrorists killing and being killed in the name of their God to send, to, to spread their religion? All the books are the words of God, which you feel you are, which you feel are either lost or corrupted, making the Quran a lie that says all its words can't be changed and altered, the supreme triumph. Which makes no sense when you have the Quran telling on you to, to lock up lewd women until death takes them, or, quote, until Muhammad, I, I, I mean Allah, thinks of something better. So, so much for the idea about the Quran being eternal and unchanging. Therefore, holding tight to the Quran is following the word of God, which in Surah 568 tells Jews and Christians to basically hold tight to, the following, to following the Torah and Injil. Make sense? Is that clear to you, O oh, slave of the best of deceivers? Is that clear to you? The Quran is not Muhammad's words. The Bible was co-authored co by Paul et, et al. <laughs> More like et al. Uh -huh. uh, bear to believe a guy who said he took a flying donkey-like creature in a journey by night to talk Allah down from 50 pairs a day to the current five, listening to uh, Moses, um, even though his child bride said he, quote, never left the bed, true? Because the real religion is Judaism. Oy vey, now you're talking. The Quran mentioned Moses 136 times. Oh my Allah. It mentioned him that many times? Well, I, be, I, I uh, bet that beats the Book of Mormon, so by golly, it must be true. And compare that with only 25 times for Jesus. You mean Son of Mary. Uh, Jesus was Jewish and was sent to the Jews to straighten their errors and to complete the ways of Moses. In a way, you're right. But he said to pray in secret. And although he supposedly fell on his face in the garden, guess what? It doesn't mention that his patootie was up in the air. Nor was he facing the Kaaba uh, with all the idols it supposedly had in it at that time. So Muslims should care about the Torah only because it's, it's God's law. No, they should only obey the part of Quran, of the part of Quran 568 about staying firm upon the angel, where they will learn that they are no longer under the law, but under the age of grace, where it is faith and not of works to get into heaven. And should they should care about the real religion, which is Judaism, not as long as we are under the age of grace. When the age of grace comes to an end, then it sounds like Judaism kicks into gear again.